The lens that you're using can change the way you look. Let's see the most important information that you need to know about lenses and focal lengths. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. Okay, let's talk about the technical stuff and then we'll steer to more exciting waters. A focal length measured in millimeters is basically how much your lens bends light coming from the scene you're capturing. The focal length itself is the distance between the lens where the light enters and the imagining point where the image is created. The way each focal length work can differ from the sensor size which makes everything more complicated but for now let's just stick with standard values. We can divide focal lengths into two types, short focal lengths and long focal lengths. Through these lenses, the light is spent in a sharper angle and they're capable of capturing a bigger area with their larger field of view. When it comes to these lenses, the light is bent more gradually, resulting in a more narrow field of view. Now, here is where things get seriously trippy. Different focal lengths can distort objects, faces and perspectives. Let's start with wide-angle lenses. There are a variety of wide-angle lenses. They generally range from 18mm to 35 but you can get some really distorted effects with lenses below 18. While using these lenses is when noses get a little extra big, chins stretch out, faces get more narrow, just try the wide-angle lens on your iPhone and take a close-up with it. You'll immediately understand what I mean. And these types of lenses are mostly used to take epic landscapes where you want a tiny overwhelmed character, a chaotic action scene, or for interior full shots. In content creation, wide focal lengths are convenient for handheld vlogs, for example, so it's not just your head in the frame. The next kind of lenses are the just right zone, which ranges from 35 to 50 millimeter. I would call them normal focal lengths. When you're watching a movie and you feel like that the field of view feels comfortable and natural, chances are that the creators are using a lens within this focal range. This is how our eyes normally see the world, so faces will look proportional and natural. In content creation, a 35mm is often used for talking head videos, like this one. <laughs> and guess what? I am currently using a 35mm. In filmmaking, 35mm is very much preferred, since Technically, you can shoot an entire movie on that one piece of lens alone. Of course, you can do that basically on any lenses, technically speaking, but on a 35mm everything will also look just right. Okay, before I move on, I'd like to briefly briefly mention the Uniconverter, which is an all-in-one multimedia tool that can come in handy for content creators, but also for professional filmmakers. You can use it to convert files, for example, it supports over a thousand formats, you can compress them, use AI tools to speed up your workflow, create subtitles, and many, many more things. So if you're interested, you can grab it from videoconverter.wondershare.com. Telephoto lenses are best for close-ups. Real ones start from 85 and up, and you need them when you want extra details of your subject, like a beautiful eye close-up. These focal lengths, though, can flatten out a face. Eyes, mouth, and the nose, will get smaller and the head gets bigger, or like the rest of your face. On the other hand, you'll always get a nice and creamy autofocus background. Now, different focal lengths also affect our sense of space. So, wide-angle lenses stretch out distances, making everything feel super far apart. This can create a sense of isolation. Normal ones are very universal, it will make your footage look like real life. Telephoto lenses squish spaces like an accordion. When you're using these lenses, suddenly your subject is right up against the breathtaking mountain range. For content creation, especially for travel content, it's a good way of making visually appealing content. Now, lastly, to finish up the video, here are some lens types that you might come across. I think some of you have already heard about, but I'm gonna share them again. Prime and zoom lenses. What are those? See, primes have one fixed focal length. I'm shooting on a 35mm prime. These lenses are generally sharper and they have awesome low light performance. Zoom lenses are for flexibility, but you might lose a tiny bit of image quality. Also, in general, they don't have the best low light performance. Obviously, you can get good ones too, but in that case, you'll need to put down big bucks. And lastly, my favorite type, as an extra, I'll leave you with anamorphic lenses. And 
I mean, welcome to the cinematic big leagues. Those widescreen shots, the crazy lens flares, that's all anamorphic. So they have a whole history as to how they work and how they were invented. Um, so if you're interested, look that up. But the thing is, I just love them. And now there are also some pretty affordable uh, pieces too. So even content creators like you and I can up their games with these lenses. Well, has your brain officially exploded? I hope so. Remember, your lens choice isn't just about a field of view, it's about telling a visual story. So next time you shoot, think about the mood you want to create, the feeling you want to leave the viewer with. Focus on these messages that you want to deliver. Okay, let me know which lens type is your favorite one in the comment section below and leave a like if you enjoyed the video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, have a great one guys.